Okay. I live in the Midwest, and I'll be kind of honest. Yesterday, we had wind chills of, like, below 14 during the day. This brings me to day two of the 13 days of Christmas wind chill. You're probably thinking, great, I get to be scared by wind. Thought we saw something happening, didn't we? Where wind blew spores and everyone went crazy and killed themselves. Sorry if I just ruined that movie for anybody. You probably weren't going to watch it anyways. So, wind chill. If you just saw the one shot, you probably think this is going to be sorry about people driving, having some sort of car problem, and then slowly succumbing to freezing cold temperatures. And you're like partially right. <clears throat> the difference is, you know, again, this is your fairly standard, you know, I need to make it home for the holidays. We use the share a ride program. All right, great, cool. I don't think I'm gonna get along with you. So you have the uh, you have the the bizarre like odd chemistry to begin with. And it is done fairly well. And of course, then they take a shortcut, which leads to the inevitable car accident. And then they get to hear on the radio wind chill of minus 30 degrees, which will be painful until you die from it. Then they find out the stretch of highway they're on is more than just a, a specific stretch of highway. It's a haunted stretch of highway. Lots of bizarre carnage, you know, all been done by this one character. Now I can give away except my kind of roommate's pieces of the movie. This really kind of has that you don't really know what's going on outside of the car. There's really not a whole lot going on beyond that. So you have to rely a lot on actual acting. And the acting actually is actually very good. You need to find out that the guy kind of set the woman up because he does actually like her. And he figured, you know, nice long car trip, we get to know each other, and realize, hey, you know what, we have things in common, you might actually like me, we can get along. And they're mismatched just enough that it comes off believable and fairly realistic. So I can't go into too great of detail other than, you know, is it super Christmassy? You know, going home for the holidays from college, you know, that's... And snow, that's fairly Christmassy. And here it is in the middle of December, and I'll be honest, it is freezing cold outside. That wind chill just sucks. Oh man, legitimate wind chill is horrifying. I went in this movie thinking, all right, you know, who doesn't know about how much it sucks to get cold? And is there really a worse way of dying from like natural causes than freezing to death? I mean, I have to use it. I have to use space units on my lab because it gets that cold. It was like 55 degrees in there. I think it's not too bad. 55 degrees with, you know, like a cold wind coming through? Not fun. So, day one we had Jack Frost, which is kind of a, kind of a throwaway sort of movie. If you got, if you like a schlocky movie, that was pretty good. Wind chill. Actually, a very good, I guess a, I guess a psychological supernatural thriller. So, that is day two. Again, if anybody knows of a killer reindeer movie, please let me know. So I can review it. That has been day two. Windchill. All I can say is, everybody, stay warm.